Before we welcome our incoming board of directors, let's please take a moment to thank our outgoing board members. Angela Cooper Brathwaite, immediate past president, Betty Oldershaw, Region 1 representative, Nathan Kelly, Region 3 representative, Allison Kern, Region 9 representative, Liliana Brezin, Region 10 representative, and Rodolfo Lastimos Jr., student representative. The time commitment, hard work, and inspiring engagement they have put into our association is invaluable, and it has been a privilege to work with you over the past few years. On behalf of RNAO, we thank you all deeply for your exemplary dedication and active participation on RNAO's board of directors. We look forward to continuing to work with you as members. I have heard from you many times that your volunteer commitment with RNAO is not done. I would now like to recognize our 2021-2022 board of directors. Claudette Holloway, President-elect. Rachel Calhoun, Region 1 Representative, Christy Butler, Region 2 Representative, Loretta McCormick, Region 3 Representative, Anita Sang Sit, Region 4 Representative, Alicia Munasar, Region 6 Representative, Soyan Sito, Region 7 Representative, Regina Elliott, Region 8 Representative, Deborah Lefevre, Region 9 Representative, Una Ferguson, Region 10 representative, Michael Scarcello, Region 12 representative, Julie Rubel, interest group representative, Maria Rugg, interest group representative, Lale T Tuner, student representative, and Dr. Doris Grinspin, our CEO. I now welcome Claudette to bring a few remarks. Congratulations to you all, and I look forward to working together over the next year. Good evening and thank you, Madam President. I am both excited and humbled. Madam President, Board of Directors, members, guests, RNAO staff, and our distinguished CEO, Dr. Doris Grinspan. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge my colleague, Maria Rugg. We both entered the new process for president-elect and we are thankful for the learning experience. It sharpened our knowledge and skills. Maria, I look forward to working with you on the board, just as we did a few months ago on Queens Park on the Road. Through this president-elect process, we are even better prepared to represent our 46,000 members. Thanks to our moderator, Dr. Angela Cooper Brathwaite, who led us through the webinars and staff members who guided us through the Zoom challenges. I also thank my family for their support and commitment as I move forward in this leadership role. It is an, indeed an honor and privilege to be selected as your president-elect. Sincere thanks and appreciation to my nominators who believe in my ability to make a difference for nursing and health. Over the years, I have learned so much from you. Thanks to the members from across our province who by your vote have entrusted me with this solemn duty to protect and advance the ends of this organization and to advocate for nursing and health. Members and RNAO staff, you have helped me to grow and to find my voice, and I'm looking forward to our ongoing interactions and collaborations. Sincere thanks to all who prayed for me or sent my positive thoughts to me to achieve success. I am committed to representing the members locally provincially and internationally. I am committed to the well-being and safety of registered nurses, nurse practitioners, and nursing students, as well as healthcare workers who serve Ontarians. I am committed to tackling all forms of racism and discrimination, addressing the needs of vulnerable and marginalized populations through advocacy, healthy public policy, and support. Together, we, the members of RNAO, can build a bright future. I am thanking God to give me the strength, wisdom, and understanding to provide leadership to the members of this prestigious organization. United we stand powerful, divided we fall. Let us move forward from strength to strength. God bless you.
Thank you.